Have you ever fallen in love with someone who made you feel like a bad person? It can be really tough to feel this way, but once you realize it, there's no turning back. It becomes a decisive moment in your journey and your relationship. We need to understand the things that can really destroy your self-esteem over time. Today, we'll talk about the ways a narcissist attacks your self-concept and self-esteem, using specific phrases to manipulate you. Over time, you'll realize how effective and impactful these phrases or sentences can be. Sometimes, you may ask yourself why a certain person acts like this and what kind of person they are. The answer to this question is that this person is a bully. A bully feels better about themselves when they devalue someone else. This is essentially what narcissists do. Let's delve deeper into the subject and understand exactly what's happening. We can observe very well that the narcissist never feels comfortable with himself. When he acts this way towards someone, he is trying to control them. This behavior stems from his feeling of weakness inside. The narcissist doesn't like this weakness to be seen by others, but he wants people to believe the opposite. Now. Let me tell you about approximately 10 phrases the narcissist uses to attack and destroy your personality and self-confidence over time. I advise you to write down and take notes about the phrases or sentences you may have heard from him during your relationship. I want you to know that if you have heard some phrases or sentences that made you feel like a bad person because of them, it's not because of you, but because you are dealing with a toxic and abusive person whose purpose is to destroy your personality and self-confidence turning you into a weak person for the sake of controlling you. This is your first step, and with it, you can turn things from bad to better. The first phrase a narcissist says to you when you meet him is, what are you talking about? There are much more important things than what you're saying, and how dare you complain about something like this? Most victims have encountered this and have been told this, making them feel very undervalued when their needs or complaints are belittled or minimized. When the victim starts complaining about a certain situation, they are upset or hurt. You meet something like this when the narcissist compares you, for example, to someone lower than you and claims that he can do better things than you, reducing the effort you are making and making you feel ashamed of yourself. The person who compares you to him is stronger and better than you, and this is not true. When you hear someone saying something like this, their intention is not good towards you because, simply, they intend to change the facts, which is a terrible and painful thing. The next sentence a narcissist might use to make you feel undervalued is, I don't have time for this talk. My time is more important than yours. What we're talking about here is that the narcissist makes you feel that he is entitled to your time and that you must arrange your life in a way that suits him because he always expects you to understand that your entire life depends on him and any action you take in any aspect of your life must be according to his circumstances, needs, and desires first before any feelings or needs of yours. This way makes you feel that you have no need or importance and that you are only there to serve the person with you and that your words, actions, and life itself are linked to the way he needs to live and to obtain anything he needs. The purpose of this phrase is to make you realize that you cannot understand this person correctly and if you accept this way, you will find yourself doubting yourself when a similar situation happens again. This way makes you believe that you are the cause of the problem between you and therefore you are required to bear any reaction from him, even if it leads to him getting angry and erupting at you because anything that happened is because of you. This is what the narcissist wants you to think and believe, that you are so bad that you cause problems that made the narcissistic person you are with erupt and lose control because of you. The phrase that follows when the narcissist tells you, if you weren't naive, you would have known the truth from the beginning, is also a form of blaming you. This happens when the narcissist intends to make you believe his lies at times and accuses you of being naive when you believe what he says to you, even though he was lying to you. Instead of taking responsibility for lying to you, he accuses you of being too naive and tells you that he used your naivety and kindness for his benefit and that it's not his problem, but yours. But if you think about what happened, you will find that even if you are naive, as he says, your naivety is not harmful to others, unlike lying which is the worst behavior and the narcissist tries to hide it by blaming you for the lie and for his actions towards you. The phrase that comes after when the narcissist tells you, if you weren't stupid, I wouldn't have been able to fool you and do this to you, is meant to completely break you and destroy your self-confidence in a humiliating way for your mind and dignity. When he says this very clearly, he means that you are stupid and that anyone who deals with you will treat you like this and that anyone can manipulate you and your mind. 
and that you are a person with a childish mind, and if you weren't like this, I could have done these wrongs to you. This word is a clear accusation that you are foolish or one of those people who are easily fooled, and at that moment, the narcissist is clearly telling you what you are exactly. When you hear a sentence like this, you must know that your biggest enemy is really your excessive trust in others and in an exaggerated way, because in such relationships we tend to have very great trust in people, and unfortunately, this is clearly harmful to you. So you must be very careful not to give excessive trust to someone who does not deserve it. The phrase that comes after, which the narcissist will tell you to destroy your self-confidence, is when he tells you, believe me, this is the last time. When you hear the narcissist say this, he means that you are not able to help him or do not know how to provide him with what he really needs, and this is meant to make you realize that you do not have the ability or sufficient intelligence to provide him with a specific help in a specific way. You feel that he is telling you that he regrets asking for your opinion or advice because you did not give him what he expected from you, or that he is not benefiting from you at all, and when you live for a long time in this way with a narcissistic person, you drown in these beliefs, which turn into qualities in your personality, and you find yourself unable to deal with things or succeed in any work because you have lost confidence in yourself and now you feel that you cannot and always find it difficult to make the right decisions. You must know that what is happening is not your fault, but it is because you are dealing with a narcissistic person and if you want to improve your situation or you want and need to restore your self-confidence, you can do that because you have the power and control needed. You must understand that a relationship in this way has terrible consequences for you and its repercussions you will not be able to bear, and in the end, you will not have any choice but to distance yourself and completely cut off this relationship because even if the relationship continues, it will be in the same abusive way, and you will live through its repeated stages endlessly.